Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite programs for creating trees and foliage and bushes and stuff. This is a completely free program, free to use, free to do anything with, and the download size is very small, so that's always a, a bonus. The program is called Tree It. Let's have a little look at what this bad boy can do. So as soon as we open it, you can see we have the beginnings of a tree. Now over here, we have our tabs, we have our tree, we have our trunk, we have our branch, we have our leaves. In the tree section, we have a few helpful tools. We have the tree poly reduction. So if I was to look at the base of the tree here and do the tree poly reduction, it will basically just lower the poly count of the entire tree. So just know that that option is always there if you get to the end of it and there are too many triangles. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the trunk tab. For this one, let's just split it in two, why not? These two options here, segments and sides, are just poly count things. So segments is how many segments along the branch or the trunk you want. And then sides is how many sides you want around the outside of the trunk. So basically, you just want to get them as low as possible without making it look terrible. Then we have all the trunk scale options. So, you know, we've got our, our length up and down radius. When it talks about curvature, uh, usually it means like top versus bottom of whatever the, the thing is. So radius curvature, if I have that over here, it'll be thin at the bottom, thick at the top. If I have it all the way over here, it'll be thick at the bottom, thin at the top. And then if we have it in the middle, it will be just thick all the way around. So we're going to do maybe about that. A few more settings. You can play around with them, see what they do. Now, the way to get the best results is to go to the trunk distortion or the branch distortion, if you're working on the branches, and play around with the crinkliness settings. This is how you get those sort of sticky things. Now, there is a setting somewhere here. Here it is, trunk flare. You can randomize the position of the tree. Now, this might seem kind of useless, but if you have more than one trunk, you can now do things like, you know, bushes or like really, you know, those groups of thin trees that you, that you see. This is a really good way to do that kind of stuff. Okay, so we've got a trunk. Looks kind of funny. We're going to move on to our branches. So we're going to click the branch tab. Put the count up to like 16 or something. You know, it looks, looks okay. Maybe we want some of them to split. So we'll put that up to like six. Just for the sake of the video, let's do some branchlets. So these are like branches from the branches. Now the branch scale. Maybe we want these to be a bit longer. Maybe we want them to be thicker or thinner. We can go down to branch forces. Maybe we want them to sort of droop down a little bit like this. Pretty cool. Let's put the crinkliness up a bit so it gets all a, a bit gnarly. God, this is looking pretty spooky. Let's twist them a little. So we'll play around with the twist settings. And now the branch position section, this is pretty important. This will choose where on the tree these branches can be. So you might only want your branches to be up the very top or something. So you'll put the minimum up quite high. For this one, we're gonna go around here and you can also choose how far up with the position maximum. So that's branches all done. And then the fun stuff is when we start adding leaves to it. So what we're gonna do is we're in our first leaf layer. You can have multiple different leaves and these will all get a separate material slot when you export it. We're just gonna have one type of leaf for now. We're gonna go down here to load texture and load texture. And I think we'll get a, like a willow branch of some sort. So we're gonna hit okay on that. And in here, you can adjust where the sort of attachment point of the, the leaf should be. So this one should be right here. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up here, we're gonna go count. We're gonna put it up to, I don't know, 140. Now, there are a few different settings that you can play with. So this setting here, cone, is gonna sort of change the way that these are placed. It's gonna place them at the ends of branches in like a cone shape. And then there's also stem cone, which is really handy. If you wanna make those kind of trees that have those circle bushes on the ends of them, those sort of Studio Ghibli type things you'll use stem cone for. For this one, we're just gonna go regular. Now, we want to make these longer, and then we're going to apply gravity to them. So, gravity, do your thing. Now, you can see these look really stiff, and that's because they're just squares at the moment. So, what we're going to do, we're going to add extra segments to these leaf cards. 
And so you can see it's it's kind of starting to take shape. So we're going to put the gravity up to like full and the gravity curvature all the way down. And so now you can see we've kind of got a, a willowy looking tree and we're going to make them longer. Now we're talking. These actually do look nice when they're thin. They look a bit more spookier. So let's do about here. Done. I think it looks pretty spectacular. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up to file, we're going to go export, and then we're going to go FBX, Autodesk Film Box. Now the cool thing about this is now that we've got this set up, we can just go into our trunk and we can say, okay, let's do one that doesn't have a split in it. And let's make this one have some gravity applied to it so that it's a bit bent over. And then in our branches, maybe we want less branches. So we'll go count to like eight leaves. Maybe we want less leaves or something. And then all of a sudden we've got another tree. You know, we already had some settings kind of set up, but now we've got yet another tree that we can just go file, export, FBX. Now, one thing that you really want to make sure that you do is save your session very often because this program i'm not sure if i just don't have like the latest version of it or something but it does crash unexpectedly when you play with some settings so make sure that you save your work because it can suck to get to the end of you know making a really cool tree and then it just crashes and you lose it so importing it is as simple as going to your static mesh folder so we're going to drag them into our bar or import them, whatever works for you. Then you're going to make sure that combine meshes is ticked. And then we're just going to import all. So I've assigned materials to this one now. And you can see it's, <laughs> it's extremely, extremely small. So something that we're going to do, we're going to get our uniform import scale and maybe put it like multiply by six and re-import base mesh. And ta-da, we have a tree. And it's all set up, it's ready to go. If we look at it in world normal view, then you can see it automatically makes the normals rounded so that your leaves don't look like they're made of cards. They kind of look like they're made of one big blob of leaves. It's really obvious if we look at these bushes that I've made, you can see that these normals look almost identical to this sphere that's over here. Now, the other really awesome thing about this program is that it vertex paints all the leaves for you. So these leaves, if you use the red channel in the vertex paint, will always stick to their corresponding branches. The attachment point of this leaf is always in place with this branch. There you go, we created some spooky trees in, you know, five minutes. It's as easy as that. So the reason that I made this video is because I always get people asking, hey, how are your trees made? How did you make your bushes? How do you make your foliage? And the answer is this program. It just makes it super, super easy. Now, as for these textures here, they are a part of Kenny's free foliage sprite pack, which I'll link in the description. So feel free to use them. If you do use them, consider making a donation to Kenny because they do some incredibly high quality stuff and they release it all for free. And that's basically just gonna wrap it up for today. So that was Tree It, one of my favorite auxiliary programs to use with Unreal Engine. It saves so much time and it means that you don't have to dick around with Blender and you know particle systems in Blender and then manually doing all of your normals and all that kind of stuff. This just makes it super easy to get really good looking foliage and tree models. And I think the best thing about it is that you can just create variations of trees super, super easily. So you might set up a standard oak tree and then just, you know, twist the trunk around and make it bend a little bit and maybe have a split in the trunk. And all of a sudden you've got another model. You've got extra variation from those sort of base sets of parameters and stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with more useful stuff like this. And if you're really loving what we do here on the channel, make sure you check out our Patreon below. So with that, I say goodbye. Goodbye.